Yo, 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 it's Overt Flow. What's going on, you guys? How are you guys doing today? Bringing you my personal setup for the Sniper class. I'm currently using the Locust. I think it's absolutely amazing. And I'm going to go ahead and tell you guys the best class setup with the Snipers that I've found so far. If you guys don't know who I am, uh, I make YouTube videos sometimes. So subscribe if you're new. Go ahead and drop a like. I would appreciate it. Check the likes. 500,000 likes yet? Not yet? Then drop a like. That'd be beautiful. And uh, I snipe a lot in Call of Duty. If you guys don't know, the snipers have been my most used weapons in every Call of Duty since COD 4. And I'm going to go ahead and show you my personal favorite setup for the sniper rifles as of right now. If it changes down the line, I'll make sure to let you know. But as of right now, this is this is the best sniper setup that I've found. So as you can see, we got class 5 here. We got the Locust. And I'm rocking that beautiful Tayout camo. Oh yeah, ketchup and mustard and pickles apparently. Beautiful. Now with the Locust, I think it's a great bolt action, right? So it's a, it's a great gun, and this is for a good sniper class. If you want to use the Dracon uh, other sniper, then that's fine. That's probably better. But if you want to strictly use a bolt action, the Locust is a great choice. I've played with the SVG. It's a good choice too. I personally enjoy the Locust a little bit more. And here, I have nothing on the optics. But with the attachments, I am rocking the Fast Mags just to reload a little bit faster. That way you can stay on target when you, know, when you run out of bullets. You can... Pop in another mag and go to work, right? Ballistic CPU is another very important one, in my opinion. Uh, it reduces your sway so that you're not, you know, you don't always have to hold your breath, which I personally find to be a beautiful thing. So those two uh, attachments are really great. The extended mag, not super necessary. You already have 10 bullets. I don't think you need many more than that. If you're in a safe location, you can always reload. Rapid fire doesn't help you that much. It, it literally makes you go maybe a millisecond faster with your shots, which... It's cool, maybe if you're quickscoping you want to do that, but really doesn't help as much as you would want it to. The stock, also not necessary in my opinion. Ballistic mags, ballistic uh, CPU and fast mags are the two attachments that I think are best. Uh, we get down to the secondary. I like the RK5 3 burst pistol. It's got a super fast burst cycle rate. It's beautiful with that Nuketown camo on it. I don't use any attachments on my secondary, and it's just a great backup. Lethal, obviously you want to go with a trip mine. Being a sniper, you always want to have something or somebody to watch your back. So I throw down that trip mine, and the trip mines in this game are are great. They're like bouncing betties. They're really good, and I would I would definitely recommend them personally. That's just my personal you know thing. If you want to, you could swap it out for a trophy system instead if that's what you're into. If you want a trophy system or a shark a shock charge a shark charge a shark charge would be way cooler, right? Shark comes out and gets you. In perk 1, I got Flak Jacket because as a sniper, sometimes you do not move that much. Sometimes you got to sit back and snipe a little bit, right? So you don't need anybody grenading you out of your spot, and therefore Flak Jacket is very important. In addition to that, I use Sixth Sense with the perk 1 Greed because as a sniper, if somebody's close to you, you need to know that somebody is close to you. You want to be on the lookout for somebody who's around you at all times, and Sixth Sense is a very good friend in this case because... It will light up whenever somebody's in your immediate vicinity. You can take them out very quickly. I think it's important. Fast hand. Swap, uh, swap weapons faster and aim faster after sprinting. Obviously, you need to be able to swap to your secondary as fast as possible when you're a sniper because you've got to stop people from shooting in the back. So you got to swap to that secondary, take them out. Very, very important. And the last thing I got is tactical mast. One shot, one kill with snipers. You clearly don't want to be hindered by non-lethal grenades. These tactical, grenade, these tactical grenades will mess you up. You get flashed or something as a sniper, then you missed your kill. You know what I mean? So I think that this is really important. And this is my personal favorite setup for the sniper rifles as of right now. If you made it to the end of the video, go ahead and say, uh, Gilly in the mist. Oh yeah, Gilly's in the mist with snipers. Sweet. And that way I know that you made it to the end. Love you guys a ton. Subscribe if you're new. You guys are absolutely beautiful. And I am over and out.